Um, maybe I'll talk about uh, innuendos at work today. Today I did a head check for Martha and um, a lovely older woman and she expressed that her uh, daughter who doesn't live with her anymore but comes to visit and spends the night that she had lice that she treated her she was concerned that she had it because she's been itching I asked when was the last time she treated and what did she use she used over-the-counter chemical and it was two or three months ago so knowing that egg gestation is one to two weeks then for me I'm looking particularly for something that's moving if she did have lice, uh, you know, she's out of, of egg gestation, so I'm looking for something that's moving uh, along with uh, eggs. And uh, I did a head check on her. How I do a head check is I use a wet napkin and a quality comb. Uh, often the combs you get in your over-the-counter products, uh, the comb you get is futile and it's setting you up to be a chump. A chump that can read to do the work with their comb, but their comb is futile, so they'll be seeing you again. So they shouldn't really even be putting that comb out there. Uh, I explained to her also, you know, uh, with what we do, uh, we have two options, really, for, for our positioning. Main is 100% uh, superbug, meaning the lice is fortified against the chemical, and the chemical has just made it stronger. Uh, to resist the chemical. So we use dimethicone and that you can uh, you can do our, our treatment in the clinic uh, uses heat, clean green, K-L-E-E-N, uh, clean green enzyme to dissolve the glue of the egg and help with debridement and then put the dimethicone oil on for anything that walks away from the heat. Eggs can't walk away from the heat. So Heat definitely dehydrates the eggs so they can't hatch. Oil on the other end gets anything that moves away from the heat. And uh, I explained to her that in, in the superbug state, you know, what you could do is you could use the dimethicone and self-treat for a couple of reasons. One, if you have a child that's too sensitive to heat, too fidgety, can't sit still, uh, if you have short hair, like like a man, like a husband who doesn't think he's part of getting lice because he has short hair, but my comb can find bugs and eggs, um, you can use dimethicone or you can shave your head. Or for the blatant, blatant practicality that, that you want to save your burrito money, uh, there's a big difference in price, about 20 to $200. $200 if I do it, approximately, 20 if you do it with dimethicone. So I let her know dimethicone is a petroleum product. It's silicone grease, like a liquid Vaseline, and uh, it's, it's in many lotions, helps things go on smooth, and creates a moisture barrier, much like uh, if you put Vaseline on, it seals the moisture in, but any other water beads off. So, so what it does and how it's different and, and more effective than a natural oil like olive oil is lice can hold their breath for eight hours uh, and longer in water. So when you use a natural oil, you're working against the lice's strength to hold its breath. But with dimethicone, a petroleum product, you're addressing the other thing that lice needs to do, which is to express water. And the molecule size of dimethicone won't let the lice express water and it causes it to implode. Often on contact, from what I can tell, we believe that 30 minutes, half an hour is sufficient, although I direct people to leave it on an hour because in that time where I part every half inch, then comb it in or massage it in, put your hair up, uh, your, your scalp is warm and it's going to cause the oil to spread out and it's going to be basically an inhospitable environment for the lice to eat. What is the lice eating? The, uh, the lice is making a blood meal of your head, of your scalp, of your crown, okay? And um, so I explained to her, you know, 
dimethicone is an option and what else let's see how did our conversation go she was very happy that i informed her so i i did a i did i explained this is how i do uh a a head check i use a wet napkin a quality comb so i asked her about the comb she had i think she said it was a dr leister or something i'm like i showed her ours the knit terminator and you know referencing the really tight tines and it's it's metal not plastic <laughs> or paper <laughs> cardboard and uh the right comb is important and that i would graze the scalp lightly and pull down the hair shaft and then wipe on the wet napkin you want a wet napkin so the contents stick and then it's ideal to have a light and lens light I, I, I said because a white egg is a shell that's already hatched and the brown, although it's not completely brown, is considered viable and uh, they're laid at the root and they look like most people's roots and the light allows you to see the glossiness. I can see a white egg on a white napkin with a light. So I, I had a, a sample. I have a plastic bag that I have eggs in <laughs> so that I can show her uh, because I, in my head check today, I didn't find any debris and she had been itching, you know, a lot. And I said, look, um, my head sometimes itches 24 seven in this business for months. And I have a comb at home at which I use because I have to discern if this is a real itch or not. And, uh, I said, in part, what's happening? Okay, lice is a trigger for your imagination. It's, it's small, it's hard to see, or you may not know what it looks like. So, in part, you start fighting your imagination. <laughs> and um, I also explained that I have the, I have the dimethicone oil at home and sometimes uh, during the thick of summer where I work at camps and my he head has itched 24 seven for several months and I comb and can't find any lice bug evidence, I'll put oil on as a salve. <laughs> and it, at the very least, uh, it, the placebo effect works. So it buys me a little bit of peace of mind. even even if I am fighting my imagination. So. <laughs> what else? What else? Oh, we fa I found something interesting. She used to work in that building. There's a lower level, there's an upper level, and there's a middle level. The middle level used to be entirely community dental when I when, when she worked there in the 80s and when I started working there almost four years ago half of it was community dental and then well more than half and then a, a little office across the stair stairwell is was the lice clinic community dental moved last year but she informed me that when she worked at community dental in the 80s and it was that entire level that the room that the clinic's in used to be for uh, making crowns and partials. So the history of where I work, <laughs> the person before. Anyway, um, what else? Um, I, I tried, she thanked me for informing her and I said, I really do try to do that. I really try and uh, imbue uh, someone to be able to harness the power of observation, okay? <laughs> and you could do your own head check. And uh, that may seem as if it's not a profitable gesture for Christine, the owner, but I always suggest to Christine, 
You didn't want to be a lice lady forever, did you? <laughs> I try to I try to inform and give not just the best ledger of what I read, but also the value of my own experience. Where often I'm creating my own experiments. <laughs> To pass on as pass tone 